In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for Minecraft 1.21.4. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. And the reason why we need to do this is because we actually need to load into Minecraft 1.21.4 before we do any modifications to it, like adding Optifine. So you just want to make sure you select on Minecraft Java Edition, and then you want to make sure that Minecraft 1.21.4 is selected. It should be over here under latest release at the time of this recording. However, what you could also do is you can go to the installation tabs in the top menu then go ahead and select on new installation and then where it says version all you want to do is you just want to look up latest release 1.21.4 either one it should get the job done but anyways guys all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and load into minecraft 1.21.4 Alright guys, and as you were able to tell, here we are loaded into Minecraft 1.21.4. So once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to close out of your game. It's really important that you actually do that. And then we can proceed to the next step. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. And then it should take you to a page that looks like this. Over here, it'll provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide on how to actually download the shader. But it'll also give you all of the direct links to all the files and resources that we will need in order to download shaders so as you're able to tell we just did step one which is to open minecraft 1.21.4 so the next thing we need to do is we need to install optifine so make sure you go ahead and select on this link over here that says optifine website it will be highlighted in like this blue color so you just want to press on it like so and then it will take you to the optifine download page all you want to do from here is you want to go to the top menu select on downloads and then at the top it should say minecraft 1.21.4 so at the moment, Optifine is only available for preview, but it will still get the job done and it will still work. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on preview versions and then download the preview of Optifine. So I'm just going to be downloading preview number one over here. So I'm just going to be selecting on download and then it is going to take us to a page that looks like this. Make sure you do not press on any advertisements or anything like that. But anyways, guys, all you want to do from here is you want to select on the top right and then go ahead and press on skip. Then go ahead and download Optifine for Minecraft 1.21.4. Now for clarity purposes, I'm actually going to go ahead and drag out my Optifine file to my desktop. You guys don't need to do this, but in my opinion, it will just make the process slightly easier. And of course, you can always find the Optifine download in your downloads folder. The next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the website that we did use previously, and then you want to make sure that you have Java installed on your device. Now, in order to actually run like Optifine and stuff like that, you'll need to run jar files and in order to run jar files you will need to download java on your device so all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and go to the official java website and then it will take you to a page that looks like this so you just want to scroll down and then you want to go ahead and select on jdk21 then go ahead and select on the operating system you are currently using so i am personally on a windows so i would go ahead and select on windows and then install the x64 installer and guys if you're still running into any issues when you're trying to actually install java then i suggest you go ahead and use the jar fix which is basically like a command that is meant to fix up all of your java files so this is only if you're running into issues you could always use the jar fix rights over here and then go ahead and just select on the jar fix.exe and then like that you should be able to fix some of your java problem all right the next thing we need to do is we actually need to load into optifine and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so all you want to do is you want to go back to your desktop and then you want to locate the optifine download so this is the version of optifine that we did download previously in this video and the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be right clicking on the file like so and then we're going to go ahead and select on open with and as you're able to tell, since we did download Java already, it will now showcase Java as an option. So obviously you want to make sure that you do have Java installed. But anyways, guys, all you want to do is just select on Java platform SE binary. Then it will bring you a menu that looks like this. It will showcase where exactly in your device it is going to install Optifine. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and press on this button that says install. And if we did everything correctly, it will now say that Optifine is successfully installed. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, you will actually need to download Optifine before you could actually run any type of shaders. So anyways, guys, once you're done with that, all you want to do is go ahead and press on OK. Then go back to the page that we did link previously. Now, the next thing we need to do is we actually need to download a Minecraft shader. Now, one really good website that I suggest you use is curseforge.com. It's a really good website. It is completely reliable and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just that I genuinely use this website a ton. 
and from here all you want to do is you want to look for some shaders to actually download all right so for this video i'm going to be installing the complementary shaders right over here and you want to make sure that obviously it is compatible with minecraft 1.21.4 so as you able to tell this shader is compatible with minecraft 1.21.4 so i'm just going to go ahead and select on that game version over here and then you want to go to the right and then you want to press on these three buttons over here and then press on download file and then it will now begin to download your shader file so let's go ahead and drag that out to our desktop as well just to make this process a little bit easier and more consistent i would also like to mention that curseforge.com is not the only website out there there's a bunch of websites where you can download shaders but please be very careful because there's tons of scams and viruses out there so just make sure that you only use trusted websites when you're downloading shaders but anyways guys all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher once more all right guys so here we are in the minecraft launcher and you should notice that it will automatically change your minecraft version to the optifine download so we got optifine 1.21.4 right over here and if for whatever reason you do not see it then what i suggest you do is you go to the top menu and then select on installations and then underneath over here where it says versions you want to make sure that modded snapshots is actually turned on once you're done with that, go ahead and press on new installation and then where it says version, go ahead and look for Minecraft 1.21.4 and then you should be able to get it like that. Obviously, you want to make sure you do select on 1.21.4 Optifine, not just the regular Minecraft 1.21.4. All right, guys. So now that you have Optifine installed, all you want to do is you want to make sure that it is selected and then you want to go ahead and press on play. Then select on this box that says, I understand the risk, and then go ahead and press on play. And now it will begin to install Minecraft 1.21.4, but with Optifine. Once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and load it into any Minecraft world that you are trying to run shaders on. You could also run shaders on a server. All right, guys, so here we are in our Minecraft game. And the next step is to actually add shaders into your game. And in order to do that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here where it says options. Then go ahead and select on video settings and then there should be an option over here that does say shaders so press on that like so and you will now notice that we could actually drag and drop shaders in here so i'm just going to minimize my minecraft screen over here all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on shaders folder like so and then from here you can drag and drop any shader files that you do have so now we're going to be dragging in the complementary shaders that we did download previously we're going to go ahead and drag it in like so and then you will now notice that it is in our game so go ahead and just select on it like so. And then it may showcase the Mojang logo again. So it may take a little while, guys, but trust me, it will be worth it. And once you're done with that, go ahead and press on done and then go ahead and press on back to game. And then you will now notice that we do have shaders in our Minecraft game. Like this is the coolest thing ever. Complimentary shaders, in my opinion, are like the best shaders out there. So yeah, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers before the end of the year. See you later, French fries.